What's up, 10 Scale Squad? Today's video is 100% completely your fault. After we tested the Armor Granite Voltage, the cheapest Armor money can buy, that thing caught on fire underwater somehow. And I asked you what I should do with it. Should I throw it in the trash? Should I try and fix it? And overwhelmingly, you, for some reason, wanted to see me make it brushless. So I asked if that was something that you wanted to watch me do on a live stream. You all said yes. So without any further ado, two-wheel drive glory so i converted this thing on the live stream i took it all apart put a new brushless motor in there esc new servo and of course a spectrum receiver i just fired it up to make sure that it worked uh, but i haven't run this thing yet so today we're gonna give this thing a run on a brushless system and we got ethan in the house ethan that is a nice shirt it is it where, is where did you get that shirt oh it showed up in the mail did it it if you want your own 10 scale garage t-shirt to show up in the mail let me know uh hit me up on instagrammy or facebook or in the comments and uh yeah we can we can make that happen anyway we're going to run this thing now i do not really have high hopes uh as i mentioned in the last video these have plastic drive cups and these were never intended for brushless power so we're gonna run it on 2S first. Then if it survives, I got a 3S pack that we can dump in here and we'll see how it does. All right, let's get it. So I did notice that like, there's a bit of a delay between when you pull the trigger and when the wheels actually start to turn. Like, look at that. What is with that? Dude, it was cheap guys, it was cheap. So the truck is $99. The Brussels system that I got for it, I think it was like 41, 42 bucks. The uh, servo that I got was less than $20. And the receiver was, oh man, it was expensive. It was like 30 bucks. But obviously, you know, I'm using this DX5 transmitter. You know, if I was using a Fly Sky or something like that, it'd be ultra cheap. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're gonna give it the old Lily test. Can it outrun Lily? Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's full throttle. And it's uh, pulling the front wheels up off the ground. Ethan thinks that it's similar to a Granite Mega on 2S. Look out, Lil! But it will outrun Lily. Oh, it wants to pull the wheels up so bad. But that delay is absolutely crazy. Steering's fine. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. She boogies. She absolutely boogies. I am surprised. Steering's great. I mean, this servo that I have in there is absolutely plenty for this little thing. I know that they make a programming card for this particular... Uh-oh, just shut off. It is not doing anything. Yeah, no steering, no nothing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the power switch came on. And it's got this little groove on the side of the ESC where you can put the switch, but uh, it doesn't fit in there very well. Let's see how fast it goes. We got our GPS here. Record, peak speed, bam. Now, I don't have a good way to mount this, so I'm just gonna chuck it in here. I'm just gonna chuck it in the little battery compartment. Will it fit? Yeah, it will. Look at that, smash it in there. Oh, we're good. So 17 mile an hour was what this thing did on its stock brushed setup. You know, I think that it might actually be just a touch faster than the Bandit was. And I think the Bandit did 23. Oh yeah. It's really far now. You know, this ESC looks a lot like a, yeah. This ESC looks a lot like a cool RC ESC. And uh, I do have a programming card for a cool RC ESC, so. I don't know. What do we think? 20. 20. 
So we picked up three mile an hour. So now we're gonna put in a 2200 milliamp 25C 3S battery. This is just a short little guy and it fits in there beautifully. Bam, pal. And uh, this should still be recording. Set it 20 mile an hour. Stuff that in there. Holy but Jesus! Oh, I'd say she's got some more jam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's trucking. She's trucking. I think we're gonna lose a wheel. I think we did. <laughs> that tire sounded like it was on the verge of blowing out. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ooh, she, that motor is toasty. Survey says. Well, that can't be right. Ooh, there we go. It still recorded it. Did it? Ooh. I think it's got more in it. 26. Oh, it definitely has more in it. 26 mile an hour doesn't sound very impressive, does it? But it definitely has more in it. It's just got so much power now that it's hard to keep it planted and uh, hard to actually put that power down. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah. She lives. Beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Yep, she is strippity doodad. Strip ed. Yikes, dude. Oh no. So the drive cups didn't let go miraculously. The actual diff itself is toast. Luckily, those are uh, readily available online. So I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's see if it's waterproof. Just kidding. So what should we do with this truck now? Put a new diff in it or try and make it stronger or throw it in the pool or set it on fire? I think we should leave it up to our lovely viewers. I'll tell you what, I have a challenge for the 10 skill squad. If we can get this video to 500 likes, that's more likes than I've ever got before. I will give this truck away on my live stream and we're gonna try and live stream every Wednesday we're gonna be wrenching on something we should call it like wrenching Wednesday or something so what do you think guys if we can get to 500 likes by the time 10 skill garage hits its one year anniversary 14th. October 14th and it just so happens that that's on a Wednesday so we're gonna give this thing away on the live stream if we get to 500 100 likes make it happen 10 skill squad make it happen that's gonna do it for this one guys uh how many of you out there have an armor granite voltage did you swap yours to a brushless system is it still alive let me know if this is your first time checking out the channel welcome i'm glad you found it even likes to break stuff all the time and we've got some cool stuff coming up so if you want to stay notified you can subscribe by hitting the dingle and you can ring the dongle all right guys until next time hey Oh, hey, if you want to subscribe, there's a little button over here, you know, right here, and you can click that and it'll subscribe you to the channel. If you want to check out the last video I posted, that's going to be over here, right over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you want to watch, that video is going to be right over here. But if you want to watch the first video where we took out the armor granite voltage and sent that thing, it's going to be right here. It's pretty cool. Check it out. It's awesome. All right, peace. <laughs>